Newly released video shows the aftermath of the police killing of Breonna Taylor in Louisville nearly four months ago. Officers conducting a drug raid burst into Taylor's home and shot her eight times. National correspondent Jerika Duncan has a video showing the tension between police and Taylor's boyfriend. Home outside. Tag three, everyone. Brianna Taylor's sister, Janiah Palmer, posted this neighbor's video on social media Wednesday night. In it, police are seen in front of the apartment building where Taylor and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, lived. Police are pointing guns and shouting commands at Walker, who they later arrested. Turn around, face away! Turn around, face away! You can hear Kenny saying, my girlfriend's in there, she's been shot, and their main concern was not my sister. Just minutes before, Louisville officers executed a no-knock search warrant at Taylor's home as part of a drug investigation. But attorneys for Taylor's family say no drugs were ever found. In newly released audio of Kenneth Walker's interview with Louisville police, Walker says he and Taylor were in bed the night of March 13th when they heard someone banging on the door. She's like, who is it? Loud at the top of her lungs. No response. Louisville police say officers did knock and identified themselves, but Taylor's family attorney, Ben Crump, says that's not true. Everybody there said they never heard the police identify themselves. In his interview with investigators, Louisville Police Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly explained that despite having a no-knock warrant, they knocked because they didn't consider Taylor a major threat. Her intent was to give her plenty of time to come to the door because they said she was probably there alone. But she wasn't alone. Walker, a licensed gun owner, fired one shot, hitting Mattingly in the leg. The door, like, comes, like, off the hinges. So I just let off one shot. Like, I still can't see who it is or anything. And so I just returned fire. I got four rounds off. Um, and it was, like, simultaneous. It's boom, 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 boom. Since Taylor's death, Louisville banned no-knock warrants. State Senator Robert Stivers is working to do That's the same for Kentucky. It should have not been done the way it was. And under this proposal that I'm in draft on, uh, it would have never happened the way it happened. Palmer tells me that she lived in that apartment with her older sister, Brianna Taylor, and that she often thinks about had she been there that night, she could have died too. As for those three officers who fired their weapon, two of them have been placed on administrative reassignment during the ongoing investigation, and one of them, Gail, was fired.